Hi guys, I'm Zeno Chroman for Surfcasters Journal. We'll continue this quick tip of the week of new product coming up for iCast 2018. Some of the stuff that you haven't seen yet. Um, today we're going to talk about some Spro stuff. Really cool stuff. I'm going to go in an order the way I see it. What's more important to me. You might see it differently, what, you know, one of their new products might, might you know, strike your fancy that you think it's a, the coolest thing in the world. But uh, uh, obviously they have, you know, their bucktails, if you fluke fishermen, I mean, I don't know how you fish without a spro, okay? But the problem with spro, and not problem really, it's, it's what it is. The spro's uh, hooks are super sharp. Uh, I had few in my hand, so I know. Um, they have a very small barb and they have a very thin hook, okay? And... As such, when you're fighting a bass in a surf, a lot of time the, the hole will wear out in a draw and the, the hook will pull out. It, it just it happens. It's just the way it is, okay? That's, that's one reason. Uh, two, they are not very hairy. The jigs are not very um, uh, dense or buoyant, so um, they, don't, they don't sink slowly, which is basically by design because they for fluke fishing they should go to the bottom as fast as possible with least amount of resistance makes perfect sense the other thing is that the eye of the uh you know where you tie up your line is up on the top uh if you're a surf caster and you cast in this and you tie it up here your bucktail looks something like that coming to the water uh fluke wants it like this when you tie it up up here and you're jigging it, it bounces along the bottom as the fish would straight, especially with a trailer. Uh, you put the trailer on. Do I have one with the trailer? I do. Here it is. Obviously, with the trailer behind it, it will stay perfectly straight and bounce along the bottom as the bait fish would. For the surf casters, that doesn't work. This is why we don't generally use Spro for fishing in the surf. Until now. To that in a second. But first... For those of you guys that fish for fluke, and I know a lot of you guys do, um, I do. Uh, the fishing sucked last few years in the summertime, so we all kind of gravitated to fishing for fluke from shore. Um, awesome way to spend the day with the kids alone. This is a new waterproof gulp, more or less, uh, container from uh, Spro. So basically, you take the container that always leak, and you know which one that is, every single one that you own. You put it in this, and you're all set. Once it clicks on, it's locked up. There's no leakage. I have no idea what the price point is on this. I just got this yesterday from Spro. So I haven't, I tested it, but I don't know what the price is. I haven't asked yet, okay? The other exciting thing for the surf cast is very exciting, in my opinion, because look, we've been using Spro's forever when it comes to using it for fluke, okay? For sea bass and all the other stuff. Porgies, whatever you name it. We've been using their um, power swivels, their split rings, their three ways, uh, Gamagatsu, which is a sister company of Spro's. We've been using their hooks forever for chunking. All, I don't think anybody, there's always somebody, but there's almost no one that ever complains about the Spro other than what I already mentioned about thin hooks. So what the surfcasters really want is a different jig head design, okay, where the I will be up in the front, like most of the other surf bucktails. There'll be a very dense bucktail, so it will sink slowly in the water column, and it will have some big-ass hook with a nice big-ass barb, okay? So, presto. The new Spro, uh, I believe they're called power bucktails. I'm not really sure. Yes, they call them power bucktails. Basically, a heavy-duty jig. Um, extra heavy Gamagatsu hook, um, real, really strong looking hook in here, okay? Uh, they will come in one, one and a half, two and three ounces. They will for now come in white and chartreuse. So you got these two colors. The eye is up in the front. It's a big eye too, so you can get your snap. You can tie direct whatever you want. It's not a tiny one um, like they use on this one, which they basically tie directly here. Uh, so you got a lot of options. You have a very thick bucktail, um, nice color, a lot of hair, big hook, obviously made by Spro, which is always a plus. And I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I know I'm going to fish them. Um, 
I've been waiting for Sproul to come up with, with something good. Uh, obviously, it's the same head design that they always used. Um, this really will go to your preference of what do you like. I kind of like their head because it's kind of rounded up over here, so it tends to not to get stuck in the bottom that much. It always kind of floats up because that, that, that cut over here. I actually have a guy, a friend of mine, who cuts his bucktails sideways here with a saw in a, to, to use specifically in nor'easters so they don't get uh, stuck on the bottom. Uh, so heavier than normal bucktail, cut diagonally from the face to make him like plane upwards. So there goes that. And the last news from Spro, which to me was a shocker when I saw it yesterday because I, I didn't see it coming. This I knew was coming because I know myself and John Skinner were asked over the last two years uh, as far as our advice on you know, hair, colors, hooks, and styles. And I know John has advised them more than I have because I basically, I mean, come on, me and John Skinner, he just, he said, John, take over this and you know, we're good. So basically, uh, I'm not saying that, that he had anything to do with the design itself, but I do know that they asked for him for an opinion. And the last thing from Spro is this, what they call it, and I have a sheet here, a cheat sheet, okay? This is called a prime snap. Now, obviously, you're going to say, well, it's just a snap like any other snap from um, Breakaway, Tactical Angler, which Tactical Angler is by far being the most popular one. And you're absolutely right. There is nothing different about this in some ways, in functionality, than a Tactical Angler clip. This is a Tactical Angler clip. This is a uh, prime snap from Spro. Uh, they are basically... Um, this is a boat 75 pound test. Um, they are, the spro is shorter, but it's wider. Um, as you can see, the throat is a lot wider than uh, the tactical angler one. Uh, and it's kind of a stubby version of it, okay? So, I, like I said, I got it yesterday, so it's not like I've been fishing with it for a year that I can give you an opinion on the strength and all that. Obviously, I expect spro to test the shit out of this before they put it on the market. It comes in 50, 75, 125, and 175 pound strength. Uh, this is the only one that I own. This is the only one that they gave me. They gave me a bunch of other stuff, but just one snap. I should have, I should have grabbed a few more. I didn't, uh, my bad. Uh, so basically, I like what I see right up front. Um, I kind of think it's cool. I did try it on a few plugs. I was playing with it this morning and last night when I got him. Obviously, this is a daughter here. It's it's same similar thing to uh, tactical anglers. Um, what I do notice, it might be a little bit harder to take off because you have a little bit more of a leverage on tactical anglers because it's longer. So you have more of a call it a finger room where you can put your fingers and pull it. Okay, where this one is a little bit shorter. However, having said that, this also works the other way where this will be a little harder to get off. So you lose less lure. Not that. Anyone really ever loses laws with these things, okay? Um, the other thing is I noticed when you put in like a popper or a bottle plug or plugs that are difficult to put on, because of that inability of shortness of this thing, you know, your fingers got to be right tight against it trying to pull it out. So it does make it a little bit harder. I'll, I'll, I'll say that right up front. Having said that, I am kind of into this gap here being so much wider than anything that I have seen before. What this, in my view, does is, is it allows your lure more movement. For the lure that you want a movement, uh, like a pencil pop or a metal lip, it allows it to swing more and gives a little bit more movement and, um, and it'll get better action on the lure. So it's kind of a trade-off between the two. Obviously, you can pick and choose whatever it is. I have no idea what this is going to cost. Or, or I, I was told it's going to be out in August, September. Uh, but I think it's a kind of neat product. Uh, I'll show you a graphic with the sizes. To me, the bucktails, I knew they were coming, so I guess uh, maybe they, to me they're old news, but to you they're new news, and, and that's awesome, and I love to see what they're doing. But uh, this to me was a surprise yesterday when it was handed to me. So a new Prime Snap from Spro coming sometimes in August or September.